ultralight in hand, got a tiny jerk bay rigged up. And this wild brown trout stream is a stream that I started off fishing a few years ago. Pretty much got me into wild trout fishing, but I've somehow never fished this section of creek down here. It's only 10 minutes away from my house, so I had a couple minutes to spare today. That just shows you can't take any of this for granted. Wherever you're at, wherever you're fishing is exactly where you're meant to be, even if it's a really basic spot like this. So let's start fishing. I got the GoPro Hero 5, so don't expect any crazy quality, but expect a crazy adventure as usual. Surprise, a lies ahead. Let's start fishing. This mini jerk bait right here has been in my tackle box for the past couple weeks after I went to Cabela's and restocked. I haven't been able to throw it yet, but it caught my eye immediately because it's one of the smallest jerk baits I've ever seen, and it has that orange belly. That color for wild brown trout is beyond optimal. And this time of year, when it's late spring, you want high flows, and you're gonna be finding the fish in the current. So we got rain in the past couple days, so that's why I'm even out here fishing. Otherwise. I'd probably give the trout a break, to be honest. It's been a little bit too hot lately. Oh, 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 fish after, that might've been, what was that? This might turn into being a multi-species creek fishing adventure. Actually, my St. Croix trout series ultralight snapped in half when I caught a carp. So I am using a $30 Dick Sporting Goods field and stream combo, the Tingo. If you guys wanna check it out, it's honestly a great ultralight for only 30 bucks. Because the message of this video is literally just getting out here, I'll give you guys a couple tips on how I have more fun when I'm on these trips. But as long as you're kind of exploring somewhere new and learning something, oh my God, I just lost a monster trout. Monster for this creek. I mean, it was probably 10 inches, but it just blew up on top water. I don't know if you guys caught that. There's a brick in here. It says something on it. PB Co. PB Co. Guys, that might be a sign for today. I might be catching my PB. That's sick. This pool is gonna be called PB Pool. I just named it. Now there's gotta be a giant in PB Pool. Oh. And now it's telling me there's a fish right here. I just spooked some in the real back part of the pool where I didn't think there'd be any fish. I thought most of the aggressive fish right now are gonna be in the current. So I'm gonna try right over here. Oh, got him. First fish of the day. Wow, he's matching the lure. The sunfish thought it was his buddy. Look at the red belly on this jerk bait. That's the first one of the day. First bite of the day. Oh, he's pissing on me. Holy cow. Just launched some wee wee in my face. Oh man, we're getting him right back. He's been a bad sunfish today. Beautiful one though, beautiful. Right here on the XPS. We're looking for a trout though. That's gonna be the prize of the day. And that's not bad. I mean, sunfish are cool. Probably gonna get, a, gonna get another one on this cast. Got him fish on. Oh, he's pulling drag. This is bigger. This might be a bass. What the heck? It's a giant sunfish. Giant. Absolutely monstrous sunny. Now, this is more of like a red breast. Wow. Feels like I'm back in the good old days getting into fishing. That would be like a PB. It's a giant sunfish. My, my hand, I'm six foot three. My hands are giant. There he goes. Back into the water. Put up a good fight. I will definitely take that. I've just made it to the surprise location I was telling you guys about. Pretty much there's a dam that flows into this creek and there's a pond straight ahead that I've never touched before. I've never even touched this part of the creek. Let's see what we can pull out under this epic looking spot. I really think we should be getting into some of the best fishing of the day and even better fishing once I get to the pond. Just this creek is so nutrient rich and there's so many fish in here that the pond has got to be good. And this lower part by the dam with all the current pushing through, is gonna be a hot spot for any fish. Oh, nice fish, got him. Oh my God, that's a giant. That is an absolute river monster. Oh my God, nice bass on the jerk bait. I thought that was a trout when it hit it. It's a monster. Oh my God, look at the fight this thing's putting up. Under the fishing mecca of this creek, I knew there had to be a big one under here. Oh, this fish came from the pond. He's the one eating all the trout. That's why there's only one brown trout in here. Check it out though. That's why you creek fish. You could be catching one and a half pound largemouth on four pound tests and a tiny jerk bait. Barely hooked right there on a lure that I would really think would just catch trout, but that just goes to show when you're out here, you would be catching anything on anything. That's why fishing is the best thing in the world. You throw in a little trout jerk bait and the red belly for the browns, but catching largemouth. 
a nice chunk. Getting back on his way right away. <sighs> Major success under this mystery spot that I never fished before. Let's pull out another one. I saw him take it too. That was the coolest part. I literally saw a large mouth stalking the lure. Got him. Got him. Next cast. That's even bigger. This is a huge fish. Oh my god. I just found my new favorite fishing spot. What is oh it's a brown trout! It's a brown trout! Guys, it's a giant brown under the waterfall. Holy That's the biggest wild brown I've ever seen out of this creek. 15 incher. 15 incher. No, don't get off, don't get off. Guys, look at this wild brown. This creek, I'm telling you, produces six to eight inch wild brown trout. And I just landed a close to 16 incher on the little jerk bait. Oh my, I'm, I'm ecstatic. I am beyond ecstatic. You can see I was throwing this golden jerk bait with the red underbelly, just like I was saying, and I caught a bass on it. And then the biggest trout I've ever caught out of this creek. There aren't many catches I would consider legendary, but for me, this is one of them. Midway through the hour breakdown, I've been out here for 30 minutes and I took this trip just to come out, fish a spot that was close to my house. And honestly, I haven't been enjoying fishing New Jersey recently because it's just felt like not where I'm meant to be. I feel like I need to travel somewhere. I need to do a trip, which is coming up. I am road tripping it somewhere across the country within the next two weeks. And my mind has been focused on that. And today I just, I just decided I wanted to get outside and just get out here. Maybe go for a walk, not even take the fishing rod, just get out here. And that's sort of the purpose of the video. I literally started off being like, I was just telling you guys what I was thinking. Like, no matter where I'm fishing, no matter where I'm at, that's where I'm meant to be. And today it was this creek. Somewhere I've overlooked for my entire fishing career. It's 10 minutes from my house. Never fished it once before. I came out here today, just coming from downstream to upstream. I found this pond on Google Maps. So this is a Google Maps fishing challenge. And I decided, let me explore it. And not only did I catch a nice largemouth, which made the day, I caught my biggest wild brown that I've ever caught out of this creek system today on the jerk bit. And I, just, I can't quite describe that because the second I went in that mental space where I was like, all right, you know what? No matter what, everything happens for a reason. I'm where I'm at. That's when the nature and the fishy gods allowed it all to happen at the right time. Nothing forced. I could have came out here looking for that brown. I wouldn't have caught him. Just the fact that I was super open to whatever happened. That was epic. Let's keep fishing. Let's get up to the pond. But first, take a few more casts under the magic hole right here. Wow, you can't, you can't make stuff like that up. Absurd. Oh my God. Oh my God. That was another monster. This Bass Pro Shop XPS Minnow is legitimately the best lure I've ever thrown. Got him. It's a nice fish. That's a nice one. I don't even know what that is. That, that looks like a... That looks like another bass. Okay. That's more like it. That's more the size you would expect out of here. One and a half pound bass and 16 inch wild browns are just the icy on the cake. Got him. Oh my god. That was, that was a big trout. That was a huge trout. Let's miss another one. That thing was at least 14 inches. Got him. No, another, what is this? Largemouth bass. I just lost a nice trout there though. Ah! You guys know as much as I do, let's get our first look at the pond up here. Whoa. Way more shallow than I expected. It's literally all lucky weeds around here, but let's go up to where the creek comes in. It's up a little ways. Wow, look at this. Look at this. There's a little fox. That's cool. So me and the fox are out here. Nobody else, no other anglers. Might be a bit windy. I'm definitely gonna wind sock for this thing pretty soon, but you know what? I'm gonna go straight up to where the creek dumps in, start fishing there, and then come back to the pond and bass fish. I got a couple bass lures, some jigs and stuff like that. The bass in here are gonna be feeding on everything that comes in from the creek. So trout, sunnies, other little bass. I can't believe I've never fished here before. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, there's like mad current coming into the lake here. This is gonna be such a hot spot. Get ready for this. 
I don't even know what could bite right now. Something really crazy could bite my line. Cause this wild brown trout stream, I could be catching the biggest wild browns in here, or I could be catching a giant largemouth that's coming up into the creek to feed on the trout right now. Oh my God. Oh my God. I just got waked on by something huge. You guys aren't ready for this. I'm not ready for this. Oh, got him, got him, got him. There we go. Just like expected. Largemouth bass sitting right here. That's sweet. That's not even as big as the largemouth I call on the creek, and that's that's more of like a pond bass. That's crazy. That just goes to show. <laughs> They're just nice fish all around in here. We'll get them straight back. I do think there's a bigger fish in here though. I got waked by something even bigger than that. I'm throwing exactly what these pond fish want to see right now. They're literally looking for small minnows and anything that's being washed in from the creek because we got rain a couple days ago. We're gonna come back to this spot once I have what I want to throw. Got him. Oh my God, monster sunfish. This is so cool. Popped off quick. Early release, as they say. Man, oh my God. Oh my God, got him. Got him, that's something big. This spot is so cool. What the heck is, oh, the big bass. The big bass. Oh my God, biggest bass of the day. Hooked into in the creek. See, I was saying fish are gonna be coming up into the creek, so it's no problem that I didn't get to fish the pond. That's like a two pounder, wow. Wow, wow, two pound bass. 16 inch wild brown. Land them, oh, let's go. That's half the battle with these fish in the ultra really, being able to land them. Barely, barely, barely hooked there on a little jerk bait. That's sick, look at that thing. There's a chunky two pound bass on the UL, on the trout jerk bait in the creek. Oh, did a little show for us on the way out. There's gonna be more right in here. Do you guys wanna fish after rain? Fish where the creeks dump into the lakes? All the fish from the lake, they feel that current coming in. They feel the beep being pumped up. They'll even be up in the creeks. So they'll be right in the mouth of the creek. Fish everywhere. No matter where you're fishing, get out there. More little fish to come. Let's see what we can get into a little further up in this creek. I'd assume, honestly, you could be catching some giant, giant large mouth and trout up here. Just like it, it would only make, it only be fair for the fish because there are so many freaking fish in this creek. I don't think I mentioned this, but I'm using one GoPro battery today because I'm using the Hero 5. So everything that's happened within this video and everything that will happen is within about an hour. I got 20% left on the GoPro battery. So yeah, I've been fishing for like 40 minutes and I'm gonna conserve the battery and get back to you guys when I have a nicer fish on or once I work upstream a little more, I'm gonna get to some faster moving water and hopefully catch a couple more trout to end the day off and then head out of here. But what an incredible day so far. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video and look forward to a lot more content like this coming soon. Literally as real as it gets, inspiring you guys and you guys inspire me more than you know. Look where we're at. This is beyond beautiful. Got him. Big fish, first cast up here in the lily pad. That was insane. This fish doesn't even know he's hooked yet. <sighs> wow, big large mouth. I was literally about to walk through that. There's a little channel in the lily pads up here. Look at this fish. Look where I caught him. I caught him right out of that little, the little channel. The jerkbait dropped in and he bit it. This fish, I'm telling you, he's never been caught before. You can just tell by the way. He just didn't even know he was hooked. Like the jerkbait slapped him in the face and he stayed there. Wow. So gnarly. Got him. Oh my God, what is that? Wild brown trout. Wait, I just caught a largemouth bass <laughs> and a tiny wild brown. This is pretty much the size of the usual wild browns out of here. That's why that one catch was just like ridiculous. And uh, amidst the pads, like, wait, this could be my craziest wild brown trout catch ever. I need a picture of this, look at this. In the lily pads, wild brown trout. Get him back. Have you guys ever seen a wild brown out of the lily pads? That bass, like they were friends. The, the, that trout and the bass were friends. Like that 
that's what you find when you're out here. You would not think trout and bass could be friends like that. That bass ate the jerk bait. He left the wild brown alone. Insane. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was that was giant. That was I, I don't even want to move or cast or do anything. That was that was a fish that was aggressively swirling this lure. Look what I'm trekking up to. This is the last pool of the day that I'm fishing. I got five percent left on the GoPro battery. Got him. Nice trout. Oh my god, it's a giant. It's another giant. Oh, what the heck? Oh, yep, we're ending the day off on this one for sure. It's a jumbo wild brown. 12 inch or about on the jerk bait. That's like close to my second biggest ever. My my old biggest out of this creek was 13 inches. And then today I beat it with that around 15, 16 inch. But that's one hell of a way to end the day off. And I'm telling you, oh, check out these little Bass Pro Shops XPS jerk bait because they wreck house. Make sure you get the orange belly. Make sure you get this one and tell them the Sky Life sent you over there. Oh my gosh, look at this. Ow, 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 ow. I knew that was gonna happen today. I'm hooked. It might be hooked past the barb, I'm not sure. I am hooked past the barb, nice fish. Now, um, we'll show you guys how to take a hook out. So when you get hooked, you just wanna go through the pain. Uh, you gotta yank it out. I do not wanna end the day off like this. The hooks are good on this. Got it. Got it out. You just gotta you just gotta rip it. That's it. Ouch. Ouch. Okay. Yes guys. Just like that. We're ending the day off. I caught myself. Biggest catch of the day. And uh, catch release too, so that's always good. Thanks for tuning in to this episode on Sky Life. Honestly, one of my favorite days fishing in so long and can't wait to share this with you guys and get you guys stoked to explore your local water. Go somewhere within 10 minutes of your house. Just don't hook yourself and have a blast. Keep on getting out there. Keep on promoting the positivity of fishing and keep on sending it no matter what, no matter where it is. That's my new saying because it doesn't matter where you're at. You be fishing local water 10 minutes from your house and still find this. And this is everywhere in the world. Maybe not this exactly, but this is everywhere in the world. Explore the world, catch some fish, and get back to me next time in the next video.